just one final note um, as uh, we talked about off and on uh, the uh, the Canby Cemetery is uh, which has I know Zion I'm trying to think of the is it Zion mm -hmm. uh, is undergoing a change in in uh, uh, maintenance and and uh, and leadership and the city has will be stepping in as of the end of December so there there could be a little uncertainty I just want to say publicly that we're doing the best we can to work to smooth out all of the rough edges and and uh, uh, and our uh, intent is to continue to provide service without interruption and, and without creating difficulty to those persons uh, needing those service we know this is a that anytime um, you're looking to these kinds of services a tragic time in a family and so we want to make sure we're sensitive to that uh, however I would indicate that uh, we will do the best we can to to provide for the needs of those persons that uh, um, that that come for those services and that is all I have for right now thank you sir can I can I say one word just, just so, just so one, I get to one, one, just one word. Okay, because you are in a well, um, Okay, so, you know, it was Thanksgiving, and I'm thankful for you guys and for your service here, and I'm thankful to have some great, great bosses. You guys are really good bosses for us. Thankful you hired this guy because he's really fun to work with. And um, I'll tell you, uh, I'm also thankful for these cars you guys bought, mostly because in recent news there's a lot more talk about the need for cameras. Mm -hmm. in a conjunction with police work mm -hmm. and those two new cars will be uh, outfitted with two new cameras Great. and so we will get as a prosecutor I get better evidence so that I can look at something and make better decisions because I know you guys want me to wear the right white hat mm -hmm. as I make decisions on even what gets prosecuted um, but more evidence better evidence it'll help our guys as they serve the public it'll protect them but it'll also protect the public mm -hmm. and so I'm thankful for all those decisions you guys have made and I'm thankful that uh, you were my boss for a time Mr. Coleman Thank you. <laughs> Joe, that was very nice. Thank you. The because uh, right now we currently have one car with one camera. Correct. So this will give us three. two, three. three. So mm -hmm. slowly get there for sure. But correct. Yeah. So and perfect. that was foresight and insight on your guys's part to uh, put that into place so that every new car we get from now on will have. Thanks. Perfect. Thank, Thank you, Joe. We're good that way. Uh, second opportunity this evening for citizen <laughs> input. And I see one, yeah, yellow card two right yellow now. cards. Two. Mallory Gwynn, please approach the microphone. Approach the bench. Time. Well, thank you for this opportunity to speak on the uh, Chamber of Commerce uh, behalf. And uh, so I thought I would bring you just a, a little report on what's going on. Um, at December 30th, um, we're sponsoring or at least involved in a blood drive that's going to be a uh, little competition between the uh, fire and police uh, departments. And so uh, this is a time of real giving. Uh, we've uh, been in contact and working with uh, Stacy at American Red Cross, and so we, we really anticipate a good blood drive. So I would hope that if you uh, all give blood, that we would see your names on the uh, sign-ups to do that and that uh, again is the 30th goes from 10 to 3 and you can either register at the police station or at the fire station at will <laughs> so they're ready to take your uh, your names down so that's gonna be a fun thing and we actually we're working with American Red Cross we want to really uh, develop a, a uh, you know a, a succinct uh, way of giving and there's a lot of blood drives that happen here in Canby anyway so we just said we just uh, talked a little bit about saying what if we just did this once a quarter you know that we really you know the whole city got involved and and uh, because their real need is um, in the winter and in the summer those are the two highest needs uh, that they have so uh, um, Stacy said it's better not to do it all at one you know not to do you know try to get you know 
500 pints of blood all at once, but if you can spread that out over the years, it's much better. So, so we're going to approach that and work with American Red Cross. We're excited about that. And this will be kind of the, the battle between the guns and the hoses, you know, the little thing <laughs> going on. And we'll see how that all works guns out. Never bring a hose to a gunfight. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I didn't make that up. No. Um, just a couple of other things. Uh, the, you know, I, I just am so thankful for our board of directors uh, for the chamber. Uh, they've worked really double and triple time this year, and publicly I'd like to thank them <coughs> for a lot of things. I'd like to thank them um, that they endured through a tough time, um, especially uh, losing a 14-year veteran, uh, hiring um, Rick Anderson, who's a great guy, um, but just for two months. And, and then I really want to thank him for hiring me. That was pretty cool. <laughs> uh, uh, and we're having a good time. We're buried, you know, as it is with uh, all of us. We're buried. But um, we, ha we see a good year coming up in 2015. We're very excited. And, uh, you know, our intent is really to add value and be um, true advocates for our businesses. And um, in the process of looking, doing quick analysis of the chamber, you know, one of the things that we're really uh, needing is a CRM or some back-end support, some uh, more technically advanced or technologically advanced systems in the back-end that will help us uh, do what we need to do on the business side of the business. And so they approved that. Uh, the board did unanimously, and so we're on our way to having <laughs> a much more sophisticated back end so we can ser really d spend our time serving um, our, the businesses who are members. And that means both the small business, uh, that means uh, in-home businesses, and of course the industry that's surrounding us. So we've got a big, you know, we've got a lot to do to serve. Um, but I think we've got a, uh, one of the best things Rick did in the two months he was here is uh, he hired Audrey, and Audrey's uh, fantastic in the office. So um, uh, she's the brains of the operation, as I say, and, and she just keeps me directing in the right path. So, so very thankful for that. Um, uh, a special thanks to um, s the board members, and, and, and I'm sorry, uh, you know, I don't have them memorized yet, so I'm just <laughs> But Ryan Oliver is the, vi is the president of our board, um, do has done a fantastic job, uh, served a long time on the board. Uh, Lauren Bell, who serves as the second vice president right now. Um, David Dewar um, is right up there in the ranks. He's coming up. Uh, but Suzanne Van Amberg, um, who has served for many, many years, I think 15, 16 years, um, is going to be leaving the board um, as of the end of this month. And so uh, uh, particularly special thanks to her because of the long time that she served and with all of her heart and many of these people have served for a long time she just happens to be um, stepping down or you know her term is ended and she's not going to re-up right now so Paul Carlson obviously Debbie Jewell is going to be leaving us uh, after three years of her term is up uh, has been a fantastic support person for me um, and for our office um, she's right across the street so so uh, she watches over us really carefully <laughs> <laughs> and if we're missing something, we could count on them to make sure that we know about it. <laughs> so one of those things was an invitation, of course, to the city administrator and the mayor to our board meeting. So, and I didn't know that, so I apologize for that, for not making that formal invitation. Um, uh, Ron Yarborough and Amy Nguyen and Derek Hill are all members. So, um, but I just want to say that our new board, um, Michelle Bourne of... Uh, Michelle Bourne Agency of American Family Insurance uh, is uh, elected a new board member. Jim Hunsacker uh, of Hunsacker Law um, is also, and Tim Lesher of Canby uh, Center is also one of the new board members. So those are all three-year terms, and, and I'm so, so happy. You know, we had six great candidates, and uh, so we couldn't have lose, lost anyway. Um, but we've got three new uh, wonderful people coming up, and we're very excited about that. 
Personally, I um, had my first conference call on the legislative side, uh, legislative committee of the Oregon State Chamber of Commerce today. Um, we're picking off our agenda for the coming year, and uh, we've got some pretty big stuff coming down the line, you know, with some mandates on, on um, paid family leave and those types of things that will affect our businesses. So we have to be sharp and work together. And uh, one of the things that we're noticing um, and that was said on the conference call today that, that there's more chambers involved you know, a lot more chambers right now are involved in that legislative process. We're so we're excited about that, and we uh, and now it's up to us. The onus is on on our chamber to find out what our businesses want and um, what their voice is, so that we can represent that well uh, to that body. Um, uh, lastly, you know, as um, as. I do. I think a lot about Cambi, and I think you know what you know what sets Cambi apart from other cities of like kind. You know, small cities that that are growing and are vibrant and have a lot to offer. And um, and I think you know. So I think you know what what do other chambers you know what do what is their forte? What do they um, what do they promote and have to offer? businesses and you know I think about uh, and, and there are many you know agriculture is a huge one up and down the valley um, certainly tourism you know just their their land itself um, the the uh, the environment you know like uh, Wenatchee fantastic if you go to their website you'll see just a, a really nice representation of what they have to offer and so I think a lot about Camby and I think what do we what what do we have what assets do we have and uh, we have um, you, you know at the top of my list we have you guys we have you leading the charge for us you know in in terms of, of um, just how things run you know that infrastructure and it's so so important we have a railroad that that runs right down the middle of our city which is unique when you think about it and I choose to embrace that rather than to to uh, um, be disgusted with it because it's part of us it is and you know, what are we gonna do change it right, right. so so you, you have two choices you can either curse it or embrace it and I choose to embrace it I think it's a fantastic thing they stopped you know stopping here only in the 60s right it wasn't that long ago and uh, we have uh, you know we have the Cami Depot that that was sitting right there you know and we still have that building we have agriculture like nobody's business here in the Willamette Valley we have tremendous um, um, uh, agriculture community we have 99e which is the old I, uh, I5 when you think about it and uh, that's a huge thing we got a lot of cars running through our city we just got to get them to stop Mm -hmm. That's all. Okay. That's all. We just got to get them to stop, and that's part of my job. But we also have something that you know I've been thinking a lot about it, and we have a television station. We have CTV Five. I don't know if you think about that as an asset, but I do. I think about that all the time as an asset. And one of the things that um, because I do some, I do a little uh, volunteering of time for CTV Five um, because I believe in them. I believe in in that whole program. And my concern about that program, and I really don't know how to approach it, is that, that the, the big three there, Tony, um, <coughs> Kevin, and Gordon, um, are, they're not, you know, the, uh, Tony draws some salary, but, you know, those, that, those are all volunteer hours. And I don't know how to get to where I believe in my mind and in my art that we should be with that TV station. But... And, and so it's just a conversation. It's just my thought process is how do we get them to be paid something so that we can maintain that, that, uh, that opportunity and that resource that we have. And I believe it to be a resource not just for the community but for business and for our schools. But how do we, you know, how do we maintain it? it? You know, we know that there's PEG funds that support it, and, and I understand that. But I also know that if we don't do something soon, those guys aren't going to be here because that's just how it works, at least in my experience that's how it works. <laughs> 
you can only volunteer so many so much and then you got to make money right so so i just put that out there i think it's a huge asset i don't know what to do with it i have some ideas but uh, i talked to mayor a little bit about it and and so but so that's my report and i just wanted to spend a little time giving you a heads up that's not all that's going on but we don't have three or four hours so thank you so much for the time and uh we'll keep on keeping on Thank Thanks, you. Mr. Mayor. Yeah, you know, Mr. Mayor, it's too bad that the chamber board couldn't find somebody with some passion for this town. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're glad to have you, Mallory. Yes. Thank you so much. Thanks, Mallory. Mr. Cornelius. My name is Bob Cornelius. I'm a citizen here in Canby, and I'm a fairly new newcomer to Canby. I've only been here 20 some years. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to thank all the city employees, every one of them, from those out in the trenches to the staff, to the city administrator who made me feel really good tonight. I mixed up BPE and PGE. <laughs> um, to the staff and to each of the counselors, our lawyer, and the mayor for making this great city of Canby the wonderful city that it is. I want to thank you all very much. Wish you Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you, thank you Bob. Thank you. Thanks for Merry Christmas our day. to you, too. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you, Bob. <clears throat> Kim, Action Review. You have approved a consent agenda. You've adopted resolution 1204, 1205, and 1206. You've approved ordinance 1405 and 1406 to come up for second reading on January 7th, 2015. And you've adopted um, ordinance 1407 and 1409. Staff will cance cancel the December 17th city council meeting. Great. Thank you, Kim. Joe, in the executive session tonight. Not tonight. Um, Thank you. Thank Before we uh, adjourn, I want to wish all of you a very Merry Christmas, as well as those of you here in our audience and at home. Have a very Merry Christmas and a safe, please be safe this holiday season, wherever it takes you. So thank you. Uh, with that, I will take a motion to adjourn. Mr. Mayor, if we can adjourn for the year. Second. Been moved and seconded to adjourn for the evening. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Candy, good night, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.